Canoe polo has been around for roughly 80 years and Australia has a reputation for producing some of the most talented young athletes. This was proven at the 2009 World Games held in Taiwan, where the Australian men's team won a bronze medal for their efforts. Chris, bronze medal, does it get any better than that, mate? Oh, mate, I'll tell you what, we are absolutely stoked with this. Um, a lot of these guys have been working towards this for the last 10 years, and as a group, we've been playing together since about 99, so, yeah, it's just been a long, hard slog to get to this point. So, sure, yeah. fantastic. Now, I'm obviously uh, a little bit familiar with the rules of canoe polo, yep. um, but for the guys watching down there at home, can you just take us through a few of the rules? Yeah, for sure. The, um, the game starts with a uh, player from each side charging in at the ball that's thrown into the centre of the pitch. Uh, we call that a sprint start. Um, and then, basically, most of the rules during the game are gauged towards safety of the players so that you can't injure each other. Um, for for instance, your paddle can't go within arm's reach of a player who has the ball, um, just so you don't get, you know, hacked with your fingers off yeah. and stuff like that. Sure, and obviously, yeah. ball hits the back of the net, that's a goal. Yeah, for sure. The goals are suspended two metres above the water, as you can see, and you just have to throw the ball into the back of the net, basically, using your paddle or your hands. That all seems simple enough, but the rule I'm not too sure about is how rough players can be with their boats. Girls, what's the go? Are you actually allowed to whack into the side of opponents? You can, to a certain degree, but you're not allowed to hit it at 90, 90 degrees. So you're not allowed to T-bone someone? You're not allowed to T-bone somebody, okay. no. And so when you hit them, you try to hit them around the foot pegs, it's more uh, effective, so you can okay. turn them around. And also at the tail, you can hit them as well. Alright, so is the idea, is that like a tackle? That would be a tackle. Okay. Yeah, so you're trying to tackle them and turn them, so if they're near the sideline, you might want to tackle them so you can hit them over the sideline. Ah. Or if they're coming in to shoot, you'd want to hit them and turn their nose so they would, you know, not face them directly towards the goal. Put them off so they won't get that clean shot of goal. Very, yeah. very cool. Now, with training, I mean, you must do a lot of training to keep fit. What sort of things do you do in a, in a training session? We do a lot of just, like, up and down paddling, like sprints kind of thing. We do some agility work or some long distance training for, in, like, endurance more, more so. OK. Because the game goes for 20 minutes, so you need to be able to last that long. All right, so no breaks in between? Oh, we, well, each half is 10 minutes long, so you do have a no. short break in between. Yeah. And we have stuff, of course. So. Very cool. Now, we're about to finish this game. I think uh, my team's losing, so you ready to get in and uh, give it a really good shot. Let's try and bring it back. <laughs> Canoe polo requires a high level of skill and fitness. So I'm guessing that my team are feeling a little bit cheated having me on their side. But what I'm lacking in strength, I more than make up for in skill. Adam, mate, sorry about that. I feel like I let the team down. That was terrible. No, it's OK. It's the first game. I'd love to go another round now, mate, but I think my legs... My legs are killing me, Walters. I need to get out of the pool, rest them up. Ready for the next one.